Hi everyone and welcome to day three of the 12 Days of Giving at Ladies Off Road Network. I'm Charlene Bauer and here is the Christmas tree that is still standing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> we haven't, uh, it hasn't crashed. The cats have not won yet, but I also haven't decorated it yet. So we're still in the mode of getting things done. Uh, make sure that you guys are all saying hello while you're coming in. Tonight is another big night. We have a huge gift to give away it's in the mailbox the big question is is the gifts from the last two nights still in the mailbox that is the big question and tonight we are going to be talking about a brand new program for lady software network called the scavenger hunt so we're going to be talking about that if this is your first night on uh, welcome to the 12 days of giving what we do for 12 days this is day number three is give away a present so we have gifts underneath the tree we have members that are in our bucket ah. <laughs> in grandma's uh salad bowl we have ladies that just by commenting you will be able to win uh three t-shirts so we have that option we have all kinds of options going on right now so just make sure that you guys engage have some fun hang out and we talk about the 2020 plans for Lady Software Network as well. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is hot in Arizona. I put this sweatshirt on. I had to put the fan on in order to maybe survive. I should have just put a t-shirt on. It is hot here today. I'm sorry for everybody in snow states, but that's just a reality moment of what's going on. So where should we start? Where should we start? Let's start with the good news. Let's start with the good news. The good news is, remember night number one, kicker, our kicker experience here with the Bullfrog uh, BF400 waterproof speaker and then the Bluetooth headphones. Robin Lyons from Santa Barbara reached out to me and said, I want it, I want it, I want it. So congratulations to Robin. Uh, she was part of one of our classes while we were in California a couple weeks ago. So very excited to her. Let's throw her some congratulations. So Kicker, I'll tell you, for sure, is out of the mailbox. But I'm not gonna tell you if anything else is out of the mailbox yet. You're gonna have to wait on that. Um, also, let's go ahead and celebrate our t-shirt winner from last night. So what I do, and I encourage you guys all just to say hello, 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 get engaged with us. What is, what's our new hashtag? It's hashtag uh 2020 commit oh no it's commit 2020 <laughs> y'all started that last night the commit 2020 um so you can comment i go through actually and read all the comments because i want to see are you guys liking what we're doing right doesn't matter uh so then i also just kind of randomly scroll 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 and stop and put my finger down and the person who's my finger is next to last night gets three t-shirts and that is Mackenzie uh, Dial Fritcher. Mackenzie Dial Fritcher. I hope I didn't kill your name too bad. Sorry. Uh, but Mackenzie, you are our t-shirt winner for tonight or for last night, I guess. And I talk about it tonight. So I just need to hear from you and tell me uh, what size t-shirts that you'd like and we can go from there. So yay. Okay. So there's a couple exciting moments out of the gate. Um, let's see. So 2020 plans. We've been talking about them over the last few nights already. We talked about the Ladies Off Road Resolution, which again is open right now for everybody to register. Ladiesoffroadresolution.com. Make sure that you do that. Um, very exciting. The group is building and I'm, oh, it's going to be great. Uh, challenge we talked about last night. Tonight we're going to talk about a new program. Uh, tomorrow night we're going to talk about our monthly programs. Uh, the next night will be our Bauer Academy. The next one will be VIP experiences around the country. Uh, had some conversations today that are pretty exciting about that. Uh, Sunday will be our August tour and some trade shows and some five day activities and what's happening there. Uh, then Monday, we're going to talk about the East Adventure, the West Adventure on Tuesday, our garage takeovers. And then the Road to Leadership and SEMA and the Leadership Summit will be next Thursday. And of course, next Friday will be our convention. 
and where it's going to be. I can already tell you when it's going to be. It's July 30th through August 2nd. It's the whole where it's going to be. Um, most of those next week you'll also be able to register for because there are going to be some limitations on quantities. So you want to get your uh, quote butt in the seat, right? Get that that first at least commitment in there, even if you can't do the whole part. part. So we'll have all that ready for you as well as we get into next week. But let's talk about a brand new program tonight. And you're going to have to give me a little bit of leeway on this program too, because as some of you know that have been with us for a long, long time, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> All right. So that's the best part about Lady Software Network is I want it to be where, oh wait, there's Mackenzie. Yay, Mackenzie. I see you. Okay, cool. I try really hard to like watch as everything's going through. Um, anyways, so you're going to have to give me a little bit of leeway on the scavenger hunt, what we're going to call the scavenger hunt, ladies off-road scavenger hunt, because we're making it up. We're going to make it up as we go. I'm really excited about this program. I'm really excited about how it's working in and I'll explain the, how it's working in at the end, but I want to tell you about the scavenger hunt first and what it is. Essentially, if I was to use different words, I need to get this pen out of my hand because you know I talk with my hands. Essentially, if I was to use different words, um, I would call it a photo challenge. Okay? That's going to be our easy representation of wording. But with that being said, I don't want to use the word challenge again because we use the word challenge for the challenge. And I don't want to get anybody confused on the difference between the two. So scavenger hunt is going to be the words that we're going to use. Uh, it's a 10 week program, just like the rest of ours, but it's going to be where you need to submit 20 photos, 20 photos. Now this program, this scavenger hunt is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be engaging. It's supposed to be out there. It's supposed to be laughable, but we still have to do some work right? Like we still have to do something like, why would I just have you take a picture of your toilet? Not really the thing. Or is it a thing? Maybe your outdoor toilet? Hmm. Right? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So, um, I'm going to give you an example. Some things that we're going to be getting pictures of would be a sunrise or a sunset. I'm going to give you an option there because we all know Charlene, rarely see sunrises, so I'm not going to hold anybody else to it, right? So sunrise or sunset. How about a campfire? How about some people? How about you awkwardly finding yourself completely overdressed in the wilderness? A gorgeous picture of you in the wilderness. How about a greasy picture of you working on your vehicle? I don't know. Uh, a group shot of people that you go wheeling with? some things fun like that. And then there's going to be some requests that you will have to interpret. Interpret for how you want it to be. So um, what makes it off-roading enjoyable to you? I don't know what that picture is going to be of. That's going to be 100% off of, of you, right? Uh, your off-road style. What does that mean to you? What does off-roading mean to you? That's where you're going to go with that. Uh, a favorite picture of you at a Ladies Off-Road Network event. That's a great picture. That's a fun picture. You don't know. It might have been one somebody else took of you. It might be one that you took. might be one that I took. You have no idea. So there's going to be some different categories of pictures being requested. You're going to have 20, you're going to have 10 weeks to get these pictures uh, loaded up online into our Wild Apricot app as normal. It's not going to be anything that you have to be on social media for. We don't play that game. Uh, yes, of course, we'd love for you to share them on social media because I want you to be proud of who you are, but you don't have to. Everything is based around Wild Apricot and being there. Um, so it's going to be fun. That's what I want. I want you to reflect on the year. Now, something that I think is also interesting, and I had to think about this a little bit, is there will be some pictures that you are going to have to take during the 10 weeks that we're together doing this program because that would only make sense right like hey really 
go outdoors for a little bit. Like this forces you to go outside and take a picture of something that I come up with, some random stuff. Um, but I'm also going to give you an opportunity for some of these pictures to be within 2020. So it can have, as long as the picture has a 2020 date code on it, for some of them, right, for some of them, uh, you'll be, it'll be legit and it'll be something that you can turn in. Just like that picture, the favorite picture of you at a Ladies Software Network event, well, during those 10 weeks, we're probably not going to have an event that you would have something like that for, so it wouldn't really make any sense, right? So that will be a picture that you could potentially uh, submit in that you took earlier on in the year. Uh, that picture of you being all greasy, working on your vehicle, maybe you take an awesome picture of yourself while you are doing the resolution, the how-tos, and you're like, that's the picture, that's the one that I want to submit for that. Heck yeah, it's within 2020, it's a great plan. Um, there's going to be some others where I'm like, nope, you need to go find this one during the 10 weeks pushing you outside your box, trying something new, who knows what, uh, and that is gonna be a little bit of a different plan, okay? Again, no different from our other programs. You'll be working in Wild Apricot, you'll have the opportunity to work with the country, and you'll have the opportunity to work within your, your uh, specific area. So a couple of the pictures, I'm gonna say, hey, get together with your group there and go out and get that done, because uh, it's gonna be way more fun if you do it with a group than by yourself. Or if it's something that is easier for you just to pull off by yourself, then handle it. Does this sound fun? Are you guys enjoying this thought process? <laughs> okay. Um, of course, we always have to have that carrot at the end, right? The big carrot of what do we get, Charlene? What do we get? Uh, so we're going to do similar to the resolution where for every photo that you put in, you get your name into Grandma's salad bowl. My mom uh, checked in last night. She says that she has a bigger salad bowl from grandma too. So we'll be working on uh, up, up, <laughs> upsizing grandma's salad bowl for the next opportunity. Um, so we want to, for every picture that you put in, so if you put in 10 pictures, your name goes in 10 times. If your name goes in, or if you put in five pictures, your name goes in five times. If you do the 20, you're in the 20 club, right? Your name goes in the 20. What we've now called the 20 club, I think is funny. So we'll have big gifts again, uh, similar to how we're playing the 12 days of giving. So we'll have big gifts again that you'll be able to win as that. Just giving you a reason why, right? We all love the reasons why. But I really want you to be doing all of this stuff for you. And that's the first part. Then, of course, we have the 20 club that we just titled the other night. Uh, so if you end up being part of the 20 club, that means that you submitted every single picture, all 20 requested photos, then you will go into a special drawing and three ladies' names will be drawn out of that special drawing uh, to be a guest of mine in 2021 at one of the events. Now, we're not going to pretend to know what's happening in 2021 right now because we barely know what's going to happen in 2020. So I'm going to leave that one hanging just a little bit and say that three ladies will join me at an event the following year. I'm not going to tell you right now if it is a specific one or if you will have a choice in them. It's going to be somewhere in the middle of that because when I tell you the date range, you'll understand what's happening there. Okay, so let me tell you the dates. Um, July 28th will be the Tuesday just before the convention, and that's the date that we're going to release it. So I'm going to talk about it again in full, 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 full detail. We will release it. We'll open up the registration process for it. It will be exactly the same as the, con as the challenge and as the resolution, the 39, 39, 35, 10, uh, this will not be one that you would use your training for. It's not a training. This is more for fun. Uh, and, and then you would have the opportunities to help somebody as well. All right. So same registration pro process. So that will open on July 28th. Then on September 1st, we will start it. It's a 10-week program, just like everything else. And that will be uh, ending then on November 7th 
which will be the same weekend as our summit weekend, our leadership summit weekend. Um, and then our drawing will be on December 1st. So that will be three weeks later on December 1st. It's a Tuesday. So our big drawing will be then. <clears throat> and the very next week, got my calendar right here. So December 1st is the drawing. And then uh, December 7th starts the 12 days of giving. So we walk right in the very next week into the 2021 plans which is why it'll be really fun for everybody to, uh, for those ladies, the three of the 20 club will then get to listen through the 12 days of giving and either know what they're gonna be joining me on or have an option between a few different options uh, of what event they'd like to join in and increase their photo ops for 2021. Okay, so what do you guys think about that plan? Is this a good plan? Uh, just like everything else, you will get a package in the mail, but the difference is uh, you will actually be getting the package at the end of the program instead. So that uh, that's going to be a little bit different, a little bit of a different plan. Yes. So thank you. I love my sweater too. <laughs> um, I think I just saw Tabby ask a question. When will the 2020 calendar be released it's actually kind of being released every single night so i'm going in and updating it well i haven't the last two nights so i'll go in and update it tonight with now these three online programs and uh if you go to ladiesofferedcalendar.com you can get it or i think it's ladiesofferednetwork.com slash calendar i don't think we have a direct link to be honest with you so um, I think it's ladiesofferednetwork.com slash calendar, but if you go to our website, in the sidebar of the website, it's a, there's a scrolling list right there of every single thing that's happening so that you can make sure that you're on task with us as far as uh, the calendar and what's happening. Good question though, thank you. Um, okay, so I'm hearing everybody say yes, 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 good plan, good plan, good plan, like it, like it, like it. So here's what I did, okay? If we're gonna take the last three nights and really understand what I did, is I took the calendar, I took the calendar, which again, you don't wanna see, it, it freaks me out. Um, and I built three online programs, right? So here we were out last year and we did all boots on the ground, 100%, and I love meeting every single one of you. But I also realized, okay, now in order to keep this thing rocking and rolling, we need to have some online scene to where you can engage all the time without seeing me all the time. Okay, so you're going to see me here all the time, and we're going to work together all the time, and we're going to be on Apricot every single day together. But we'll talk about the face-to-face the -face stuff coming up. But this gives you the everyday opportunity to engage and to get better right? And to grow your off-road skills. Uh, so that 2020 resolution is the first one out of the gate, the how-to, the hands-on, how to work on your vehicle, 20 different options, 20 different opportunities. Um, it's not built to be hard. It's built to be uh, knowledgeable and encouraging and giving you the tools that you need to be successful. Uh, the second one is the ladies offer a challenge. The challenge, ladies, to be honest, it's built to be hard. It's built to push you outside of your box. It's also built to have fun and to laugh and to be encouraging. Um, so that's the second one. And that's the challenge. And then in the last piece of the year, I brought in the scavenger hunt more as a fun piece, a reflection on the year, looking at all your pictures, gra grabbing some new pictures. Um, again, just like encouraging each other and supporting each other and what you've accomplished throughout the year and accomplished throughout that time frame as well. And um, when you start seeing it lay down on the calendar, what I did is there are 10 weeks each, right? It just gave me some consistency in talking about it, but they're 10 weeks each, so it gives us a lot of time for you to be successful. We all have super busy lives. You have a super busy life. I have a super busy life. I get it. You can't necessarily get things knocked out in four weeks, but we also don't need like eight months of this stuff dragging on either, right? 
So that's part of the plan is that 10 weeks kind of gives us a nice cushy time for you if something was to happen, something in life happens because life definitely happens. Um, hopefully you can at least juggle, juggle, juggle and get some of it done within that 10 weeks and you know, focus, focus for that, right? So it goes about 10 weeks is the program and then three weeks later is the drawing because that gives me time. Uh, the ladies that are helping me time to get associated and get everybody in and then we release another one. You got about three to four weeks to sign up and then we have 10 weeks. Um, and then it gives you about three weeks before we do the drawing and then we release another one and then there's another 10 weeks. So essentially what's happening is you have about six to eight weeks in between each program for you to not have anything to do with Lady Software Network, whatever that means, right? Um, that was also something, can we include glitter bombs? Oh my goodness. That was also something that we wanted to um, make sure that people didn't feel overwhelmed, okay? I want, to, I want it to where you feel like you could participate in all three of these and have plenty of time to get through them, to do them, to take a breather, and then to gear up and then to be ready for the next one. So um, hopefully my timing is working with you. Hopefully my thought process has worked out with you as well. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and giving everybody that opportunity to be successful. And then uh, ladies that are here right now, like basically, again, you're at the ground level of this whole program, which is really awesome. So as new ladies come in next year and they come in for that second program, they come in for the challenge because they weren't a part of Ladies Offer Network before, now you can help them and you can be supportive of them and then they get the two programs and maybe somebody doesn't come in until uh, the scavenger hunt, right? They don't find out about Ladies Offer Network till later on in the, in the year. That's great. So again, it gives a lot of opportunity for new people to join us as well. Good plan? Everybody happy with this plan? I appreciate you. <laughs> Let's make sure that this plan works. Yay. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot going on. It takes a lot to run these online programs, but I'm really, really excited about them. And um, if you guys have some ideas like glitter bombs to join into the scavenger hunt, you just let me know. I'll just go ahead and write that down right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. What a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Bad plan, but I'm always good for a bad plan. <laughs> Every once in a while when it makes us laugh, right? Okay, that is tonight's scene. So that is a scavenger hunt. For lack of better words, I don't want to call it a challenge, but it's a photo challenge. It gives us a whole bunch of really cool things to do. Uh, and uh, if you guys have options, thought processes, we got 20 things to take pictures of. So I'm all in. Go ahead and throw your idea down right here because like I said, it is going to be something that I'm going to look at here in just a little bit. I can't read them all as they go by. But um, yeah, Summer says, bad plans make the best stories. <laughs> so that's over on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Hello later to uh, YouTube. If you have friends that you know are not on social media, please understand that YouTube gets posted tonight. It gets posted very quickly so that everybody can watch this and be part of it. And the names are getting posted online immediately so that you guys can reach out to me. Um, hopefully you have everybody's back, right? Because we got some people that need to respond. All right, and Tanya's like, no glitter bombs. Well, maybe we'll find something in the middle. We can find something in the middle there. <laughs> Other people are like, no glitter, period. I hate glitter. I hated glitter too until I started hanging out with all of you guys. Now everything I have is glitter. I don't understand what the problem is. Um, okay, what are we doing next? Is it time to go to the Christmas tree? Time to go to the Christmas tree? Yeah, see what happens when you come late, Corey? We talk about glitter bombs. I'm saying. All right, let's go to the Christmas tree. And here's one of the ones I picked up last night from the floor. So let's see what is inside of here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in here. All right, so we'll start with uh, the cup. 
and the koozie, right? Cup and koozie, cup and koozie. We have another one of these fun guys. This is the uh, Industrial Metal Supply face mask. Oh, where you're all gonna look like you're smiling. Yay! And Marissa was hysterical last night. She screenshotted this for me. So now I have a spectacular picture of me with this on. Pretty funny. Um, what else is in here? We have a BFG chapstick, of course. There's something super random out of my super random pile. So this is a I'm not just a girl like tea cup thing. You can put your jewelry on it. I have no idea. Yeah, this is your fun item for the night. And this is very cool. So this was from King of the Hammers last year. Uh, we went to Amada Engineering and we cut out these, um, they're beer cap, bottle cap removers. That's what they are, bottle cap removers. So this uh, is up against the wall. You can take your bottle cap out and put it in there. You notice it has the Ladies Off Red Network logo on it, the Amada Engineering logo on it. This was a really cool piece to King of the Hammers um, that we did while we were out there. They showed us how to cut these and how to bend these. Uh, that was on Monday. So yay, yay, yay. And then, bam, a foil parts gift card. And it's for uh, $20. Yes, and it's for $20. So uh, the last two nights as well, you will get Foil Parts gift cards in your in your bag also, let me say. I uh, forgot I had them. So here we go. Are you guys ready? So we got the Amada um, bottle cap remover, Foil Parts gift card. Everybody's used all theirs from their class, right? Oh, and look who it is. Hello, Piston. What are you doing? Are you busy? Are you bored? Uh, we got the BFG chopstick. We got the face mask. We got the cup saver or something and a cup and a koozie. Oh, and you also get a cat, apparently. Piston, are you gonna jump in the bag too? Okay, everybody say hi to Piston. Hi Piston. Yep. All right, you gonna help out with this, buddy? Okay, here we go. We get to mix it up, mix it, mix it, mix it. And here is the winner for the gift under the tree. Winner for the gift under the tree is Jessica Perez from Menifee, California. Jessica Perez from Menifee, California. Whoop, whoop. Love it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh, he almost fell off. That was a bad plan. Bad plan. Uh, so Jessica Perez, Menifee, California, you are the winner of the gift bag. Whoop whoop. All right. It's hot in here. Um. All right. You guys better use your gift cards if they aren't already expired. If they are, you should call me. All right. Good plan? Good plan. Everybody, or what did you buy with your gift card from your class? That's what I want to know too. What did you buy from your gift card with your class? That would be a good thing to know. Um, all right. Now, big question. So we know that the kicker is now Robin's. Yay, Robin. Uh, we know that Mackenzie Dial Fritcher, sorry if I killed your name, Mackenzie, is the t-shirt winner for tonight. We know that Jessica Perez is the gift bag winner for tonight. And now we must jump into our mailbox. And the question is, is the one from last night still there? And it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So high lift is still in here. Um, oh, somebody bought a high lift with their gift card and got a tree saver and got a new winch cover. Yay, look at you guys, you're so cool. Cute t-shirt, forgot about your gift card. Oh my gosh, you guys, how can you forget about your gift card? A snatch block, a jack cover, nice. 
nice, 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 nice. Most of them expire, so uh, yeah. I don't want to make it hugely obvious, but if you need to, call me. Okay. Um, <laughs> awesome. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Over on Instagram, they're like, oh, someone's going to be so sad. I'm like, I know, right? Yes, so High Lift is back out here on the scene. So we got a 48 inch High Lift Extreme Jack, the Tree Saver Strap, the off-road kit that converts it for winching. Uh, so that's the chains, the straps, the shackles, the gloves, uh, a hat and t-shirt, and a handle keeper. I will call my cousin back in a little bit. <laughs> so that is that. This is back in the bucket. Okay, so Piston, we have to draw another name. Piston's on my lap, you can't see him. But he is right in the middle of all this right now because that is what's happening. Okay, we're gonna go to the very, 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 very bottom of the bucket. You gotta get a bigger bowl, Mom. You gotta get a bigger bowl. They're all falling out. Okay, here we go. Gotta get a bigger bowl. Another California. Holy cow. Um, Michelle Armetta. Mar Michelle Armetta from Menifee, California. She was also at one of our classes just recently while we were there in California. So Michelle, you are a high lift winner. If you call me, get with me, get to me in 23 hours. Yep, yep. All right, time is ticking time is ticking all right so there's that one um but are you guys ready for the new new one of the evening and this is huge this is like beyond huge this is a big 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 deal we really need some drum rolls for this yep let's give michelle uh, a hello but we really need some drum rolls for this one because this is a big dog. I'm not waiting till the end for all the big dogs. I decided that last night. I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna like ramp up and like make them small, make them big. They're gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. You're just never gonna know what I got going on on what night. But this is one of the big ones, like big, big. All right, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll to the mailbox. Are you ready? Hold on, we gotta sneak it up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's for real. Bam, yes ladies. Warren is delivering your Christmas present this year. It is a VR Evo 10S. So that's a 10,000 pound winch, right? We all now understand what that means. Um, it has a fast speed line. It has a lower amp draws from some of the others. Uh, a two in one remote with wired and wireless options. And it's already coming with that synthetic rope. I know. Ladies, $835. Yes, it's a winch. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so who wants this winch? Warren, of course, for all of their support throughout the year, throughout everything. Um, that poor winch on the front of Frankie did over 2,000 winch pulls. And you guys saw it happening, right? You saw me pulling it out. You saw you guys feeding it back in. Uh, over 2,000 times that happened. And that winch is maybe a little angry. I'm not going to deny it has a little bit of a different sound today than it did at its very beginning. That would be a fake statement, um, but it definitely has not died on us. So, and it's not built to do that. Like they're built to do heavy poles. They're built to do big things, right? Uh, so I am very thankful to Warren for producing such a great uh, winch and opportunity for you ladies to learn as well and how to do it correctly. All right, I see everybody wants it. <laughs> um, and at that 10,000 uh, pound rate as well, that's something that we've talked about a lot. 
So it's great for like a half ton truck. It's great for a Jeep. Uh, if you want the ratings and how to understand what rating you need for your vehicle, we actually have that article on Ladies Off-Road Network as well. So just remember, there is a ton of information on our website. If you haven't gotten around to uh, checking it out, please make sure you do. But I know, somebody wants me to draw the names right now. <laughs> All right. Somebody wants me to draw a name right now. Piston, you want to do this? Because this is the part I don't like. What part of the bowl are we going to go to? We're going to go to this part of the bowl. We're going to go for this one. I don't know. I don't know. Drum rolls. Oh boy. All right. Here it goes. This winch, given that it is, um, that they call me in the next 23 hours, call, text, email, something, 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 I would do a lot of things if I was you, uh, is going to Orlando, Florida to Stephanie Bianin. Stephanie Bianin, I might have killed your last name, but you live in Orlando, Florida, and you were at our class as well. So you know how to use one, you know how to stretch that line and get it ready. Uh, Stephanie, Steph, if you are online, definitely say something. Uh, if you are not, and you know Stephanie, you might want to let her know that she needs to get online with us and let her know what's going on. Yes, yes, yes. So, this is very exciting. We will see what happens, right, tomorrow night to see what makes it back into the mailbox and what new things we have in the mailbox tomorrow. Tomorrow's a very exciting one, too. May I just add? <laughs> All right, so Stephanie Bianen, B-A-E-N-E-N. -E -E That's how you spell it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, Orlando, Florida, very exciting for you. We have Michelle that is working towards the high lift. So we have these two still in the bucket. Uh, our Think, thankful to Kicker that has already um, been claimed. So congratulations to them. We have Michelle, <coughs> oh sorry, Mackenzie and Gail who are t-shirt winners already. We got Jessica um, and then the other two ladies. Shoot, I should bring all the bags over here and with all the names. I'll just have to keep it all together. It's going to be a long week, ladies. Can you see how this goes? I'm telling you what, right? 12 days of this. I know. Um, <laughs> okay. So, yes, amazing prizes, very cool stuff. I'm not waiting till the end to give all the big stuff. It's going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. It's going to flow and wave, flow and wave, flow and wave, however you want to say that. It's going to be exciting and it's going to be fun. But I do want to come back around now to questions. Uh, yes, thank you very much to Kicker High Lift and Warm. Thank you, Jody, for mentioning that. I know, Mackenzie, we have nine more days of this. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, so let's come back around to some questions. Unfortunately, I didn't see a whole bunch fly by earlier when we were, um, when I was chit-chatting about the scavenger hunt. So if anybody has any questions about the scavenger hunt, about my theory behind the online programs, these are the three big online programs for this year. We're going to talk about Bauer Academy in two nights, I think. Um, I have the list right here, Charlene. Gee whiz. On Friday night. So there'll be some other online education as well. But these are our big, big three ladies offered network ones, okay? Um, every single thing we do is based around education, as you guys see. So do we have any questions on the scavenger hunt? Um, anything on the resolution or the challenge that maybe I can help out with as far as when they come, you know, into the big core? Uh, what was Christy's question? Sorry. Jody, you just said it's a good question, but what was Christy, Christy's question? Or Christy, can you retype it? Because things just scroll by. Um, I left you a question earlier, but no hurry. On Instagram, if it's something I can answer now, can you repost it? Because I didn't see it. All right. 
So help me out with the questions right now and I will make sure that they get answered. I saw some last night that I didn't answer and I probably should have written them down, but I didn't, sorry. Um, but when I'm asking for questions now, I'm actually reading. <clears throat> I can't always read and talk at the same time or that's when squirrels happen. Uh, so what do we have where we have questions on any of this stuff, the scavenger hunt, the challenge, the resolution, Yes, make sure you go back and, um, <clears throat> okay, so once the, oh, good question. Okay, Jody. once the name has been pulled, does it go back in the bowl or are people done? Once it's been pulled for a big gift, it's done. The little gifts, they go back in, just so you know. So if you've gotten a little gift from under the tree, your name is still back in there for the big gifts. That's why I don't have their names attached to it, so it's back um, they're back in. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. What else? What else do you got? Going to do the resolution. Not sure I've heard about the scavenger hunt. So the scavenger hunt is brand new, Robin. Uh, if you came in late tonight, just come go scroll back as soon as it posts. And if you can watch it, because I think you'll really, really like it. That's definitely one that you're going to love. So the resolution starts on 1-1. That starts January 1st. Okay, so the resolution is first. It starts on January 1st. It's open right now. Let me get my calendar out. <clears throat> so the resolution goes from January 1st to March like 7th. Okay? And then the and then the challenge will start. May 4th and end July 11th. And then the scavenger hunt starts September 1st and goes through November 7th. And you guys will, don't worry about writing all that stuff down. Um, for one, I'll be reminding you, of course. But number two, um, I'm going to do uh, get that calendar updated. So ladiesoffroadnetwork.com slash calendar and that will help you out. Um, yeah, I'm very bored. <laughs> That's over on Instagram. We got another chat going on Instagram, and we got this chat going on over here on Facebook. It's pretty fun to watch both of them. I'm the lucky one. I get to see it all. <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. What else do you guys got going on? Um, are you going to need, what do we got? Are you going to need have an Arizona work day to help you? Sure, that would be spectacular. Do you have to be a member to do the resolution? So no, uh, nothing, you don't have to be a member to do anything that we're doing, except for the VIP events and a couple other uh, major programs like that. Very core programs, right? The VIP stuff, the, the quantity people is the thing that I'm having a challenge with. So, um, the, what am I, what do I want to say? No, you do not have to be a member to join us. So you sign up just like you would for anything else. And it's, if you're a non-member, it's $39. If you're a member, you get your 10% off and that becomes 35.10. If you are a member who has not yet used your free training, you can use your free training for the resolution or for the challenge. Uh, tonight, I just said no on the scavenger hunt. It's not a training. It's more for fun than anything else. Um, so let's make sure that you use that free training for something that's free and legit, like a training training, okay? Um, <clears throat> then you also have the other two options, the $99, where that supports Ladies Off Road Network alongside becoming uh, entered into doing the program. And the 149, which gives you the opportunity to give um, give somebody a scholarship as well. So that's that option also. So no, you do not have to be a member. Uh, what it does do also with being a part of the membership though, is it gets you into that bigger communication zone. So if you come in and you're not a member and you're one of, in one of the programs, it's fine. You're only gonna see that program chat though. I just need to make sure that people understand that as well. So it's just another uh, visibility difference that is gonna happen, but 
it's not going to keep you from being successful in any manner or way. All right, I saw another one that was here. Oh, that was just Jody rewriting what I said. Thank you, Jody. I appreciate you a lot. Um, do we get a membership packet in the mail? Yes. And they are, uh, membership packets are on my floor right over there. Uh, there's many of them that have gone around the country twice now. <laughs> and there's many of them that have gone around the country once. There's many of them that went just through California. Uh, these are very traveled member packets. My, uh, my intentions, ladies, are extremely high and extremely good. The execution of getting them out the door has not been successful. And I am very um, open about that and very not awesome about that and not like proud of that, but that's the reality to that. <laughs> so you have very traveled stickers. Your stickers have been to many more places than you may have ever been. Uh, but they are coming to you soon. They are getting out of my house, I promise you, as soon as possible. So that is happening. Um, if you are not clear on the member stickers or you're like, what's happening here? You did have an option when you, when you signed up, you got an email immediately. That email was aggressive, it was long, it was big, it was over the top. And that email is something that um, had a bunch of links in it, including how to become, how to link into our social media, how to get onto Wild Apricots, and also to fill out the form for your member stickers. So you have the opportunity to pick the member sticker colors that you want. Uh, and that's something that maybe you guys should check out as well. So if you haven't already filled that form out, it would be something that would be great to do in the next week or so. We're going to have another round of them printed in here and I'll get those ready to rock as well. Okay, so that is a good question. Thank you. I'm trying really, really, really hard to get those out. Trust me. They have been on my list for weeks. Um, yes, I hope you're as well traveled as the member packet. <clears throat> Uh, May is when it will start. Not sure what that was in response to. Okay. Yep. And Elisa, I got your message and we're going to take care of you. I already put your name in the bucket, just so you know. Plans for offering stickers or shirts for sale in 2020. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. So I actually have something in the next couple nights. I'm not going to say a couple nights. Let's give myself till Monday, 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 Monday to release something that you can now buy with Ladies Offer Network's logo on it. So as, as up to now, I'm going to stop. Hold on. Okay, so there's Sarah's question that I'm answering right now, and then I'll scroll down. Um, as for right now, we all know that the only way that you can get a Ladies Offer Network logoed shirt is by attending one of our events and then you bring the shirt we put the logo on it it's a win-win situation right it works out great um then we had the four parts shirts that everybody got if you came to one of our classes which was amazing love that plan too i have a new plan oh we do have some a couple yukon shirts left i'll probably put those up online as well because you can buy those they're pretty fancy i think they're already online actually um, so we have those that are available and then I do have a new plan that's going to launch into next year with some of our partners, which is pretty exciting as well. Um, but I do have something that I'm going to try and get out in time for Christmas. So let me, uh, let me finish it up. It's going to take a little bit of work. So maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, I'll have them up online and for sale. And of course I'm not going to even show you or tell you what I'm talking about until I get them online because then you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, Charlene, I want this, and it's not going to be available. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, in the meantime, though, remember the one thing I did say about joining the resolution is you will get a planner guide for 2020. So you will get a calendar planner, and I've been working again today on the details of that, which I think is pretty neat also. Um, Marissa, when you get the jet that shoots glitter, uh, when you find me a jet. That would be spectacular. <laughs> um, what if we don't show up on the member list 
online. Hmm. Well, we need to work on that. So Misty Roth. Misty, you're going to text me because my pen fell and the cat is in my lap. So Misty, we're going to work on that and see what's going on. I need my form for my member sticker. All right, Amy. All right. We can work with all of this. We got you all. Mm, what else? What other questions we got? Monday teaser, maybe Monday. Uh, okay, I got back to the bottom again. <laughs> uh, so that sounds like that's it for the questions, unless you guys have more. Um, excited, 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 excited. Wish I was, uh, I wish everybody was closer so you could help me out. But guess what? It's fine, and we will have opportunities for people to help online. Um, we'll be talking about the leadership program next week on Thursday, which is really our chapter conversation, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm not going to say anything more about that right now. We'll just talk about that next week, but I'm excited about all of that. And from there, we should be good to go. All right? Everybody happy, happy, happy? Good. Sounds good. And Marissa just sent me a picture. I can only imagine what the screenshot is of tonight. <laughs> I can't see these things. I'm using my phone, people. All right. Everybody want to say goodnight to Piston? Let's say goodnight to Piston. Oh, so sad. That's because he's been hanging out all day, romping around. Yep. So let's all get, say goodnight, goodnight, goodnight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is day three of the 12 days of giving, which is so exciting. So exciting. Oh. What do we got? Tonight, we pulled out of the mailbox a Warren VR Evo 10S. So cool. We had the high lift package that is still in the bucket. We had the kicker speakers, which are now off of the buckets. We talked about the um, challenge, we talked about the resolution, and we introduced the brand new scavenger hunt that is going to come out in the end of 2020. So I have a little bit of leeway, I'm giving myself a little bit of leeway in there to be successful and change it up just a little bit because we got many months in order to dream up wonderful things. But that is, uh, that is pretty much what it's going to be. Uh, that's the base to it. I may come up with a little bit of a better word. I'd love to have something a little bit better than scavenger hunt. But at the same time, it is what it is, right? <laughs> so that is that. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a great evening. And with that, we'll see you tomorrow night. Different sweater, same place, same mailbox. All right. <laughs> good night, y'all. Have a good one.